Hi Sagittarius, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a freestyle reading, taking a look at the current energies between you and your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings, and also my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, South Node, any planet in your birth chart in Sagittarius. All right. Okay, I'm going to be using these Oracle card decks here. Let's take a look at what are, what is your person currently thinking in regards to you and their relationship or connection with you. Let's see. Let's see, spirit angels and guides, please show me what are this person's current thoughts and feelings in regards to in regards to Sagittarius and their connection or relationship with Sagittarius currently. All right, thank you, spirit. We have soul contract. The lessons I learned from us will never be forgotten. Soul contract. Okay. So, so for some of you, this is a soul soulmate or a karmic partnership. What are their thoughts and feelings in regards to Sagittarius? Indecisive. I know my I know my inability to make a decision hurts you. Indecisive. Hmm. what are their current feelings and thoughts in regards to Sagittarius we have ego I let my pride get in the way of our connection I let my pride get in the way of our connection hmm. at the bottom of the deck it says inseparable our, our love is always there despite the distance our love is always there despite the, di the distance. Yeah, this reminds me kind of this soul contract energy. So some of you are soulmates or twin flames or karmic, karmic partners here. Destiny, I'm struggling to find the right path. Third party, there were other things that got in the way of us being together. I feel pain from the damage I caused, guilty. Hmm, okay. Let's see what's going on. At least I'm going to keep these cards here. All right. So this person let their ego get in the way. They were indecisive with you. They were back and forth with you. They feel like you two have a soul contract. And they feel like... You two are inseparable. So this might be an on and off relationship that you've had with this person. Where you um, break up and then make up and break up and make up. It's a cycle, basically. All right, let's see what else we can get here. Spray angels and guys, show me here what is the current situation between Sagittarius and their person. What's the current situation between Sagittarius and their person? Thank you, Spirit. We have, oh, there's that ego, show off, flexing, ego, cheapskate. Mm-hmm. There's that ego card. Hmm. This person likes to act like they don't care when in reality they do care. This person likes to like make you feel small. Make you feel like 
insignificant. Like they like to downgrade their their feelings and downgrade the importance of this relationship. What is this person, uh, or what is the current situation between Sagittarius and this person? Yeah, businessman, slow to commit. Could be an earth sign that you're connecting to, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. This person is slow to commit or non-committal. They, they want to have a good time here. This person looks like, I don't know what this person is doing. This looks like someone who's going to the club. It, you know, this person wants to have a good time. That's what they want to focus on. Just keeping it light and casual. Tell me more. What's the current situation between Sagittarius and, the, and their person? Mature man, young, grounded, practical, self-made, ambitious, own everything. This is your energy? Yeah. Earth sign. Yeah, I feel like this is what you're looking for, um, Sagittarius. You're looking for a mature man or a mature woman. And this person is not it. Or they haven't proven themselves to be that. You're looking for someone who's grounded, practical, ambitious, committed. Someone who's responsible, someone who knows what they want. Someone who has integrity. Hmm. What's at the bottom? At the bottom we have here unfinished business. Unfinished business. I want a second chance with you to show you I can be the one for you. So there's unfinished business here that this person feels with you. Hmm. It doesn't look like they want to come back around to you and have a second chance. Ooh, snake. A snake in disguise. Uh-oh. An enemy as a friend or a lover, thief. Someone acts like they care but doesn't. Snake in disguise. So this person is a snake in disguise. They're a manipulator, basically. They take advantage, they take advantage of you. Of your of your feelings, of your weaknesses towards them. And it says they're frustrated and a side piece. I'm tired of this, stressed out, overloaded. This could be you, frustrated. You're frustrated, you're tired of being the side piece. You want someone who respects your worth. All right, let's go to the tarot cards now. Hmm. You're looking for a mature man or woman, and this is not it. Not it. This is someone who is, um, who's all about themselves and all about having fun, you know, having a good time and nothing, nothing more, nothing less, you know? And they're really good at... I feel like this is someone who's really good at making people believe whatever whatever they want to believe. You know? It's almost like they're really good at being very um charismatic. You know? They might be really good at good with their words. They're really good with their words. All right. What do I want to use here? Spirit in regards to the tarot cards. All right, let's go here. All right, let's see what are their current feelings. Spirit angels and guys, what are this person's current feelings for Sagittarius, please? What are this person's current feelings for Sagittarius? How are they currently feeling about Sagittarius? It almost, it looks like you have a lot of like love for this person or like you have a lot of feelings for this person. Um, if it weren't for, for that, you know, non-committal energy that they're carrying, 
I feel like you would be really happy with this person. You would feel really happy with this person if, if they could get their act together, you know, and, and be responsible and be committed. It looks like this person would be the perfect person for you, you know, because we do have soul contract and inseparable. So it does look like it looks like there's deep emotion here, like there's a deep connection. But this person just has that, you know, one big major flaw, which is, you know, they're, they're non-committal. All right, what is, I'm sorry you can hear that dog in the background. That's not mine. Sorry about that noise. What are this person's kind of feelings for Sagittarius? We have the Six of Wands. We have the, ooh, these cards are in reverse. I didn't realize they were reverse. Five of Swords in reverse. Six of Wands and the Five of Swords in reverse. We have the Moon. We have the Queen of Wands. We have the Hierophant. Okay, that's you. And we have the Page of Pentacles in reverse. At the bottom, we have the Seven of Wands in reverse. All right. So in regards to their current feelings, Six of Wands and the Five of Swords in reverse and the Moon. This person is trying to get your attention. They're trying to get your attention and, and it looks like you're not giving it to them. You're standing your ground, you're in your power with the Queen of Wands and the Hierophant card. Let me try to concentrate. Those dogs completely take me out of concentration. Queen of Wands and the Hierophant, you're in your power here. You're, you're sticking to, to what you want. You want a commitment with the Hierophant card. Look at you with the fiery energy here. I mean, you are fire sign. Queen of Wands, you're very passionate about what you want. You're very passionate about, you know, wanting a real commitment here from this person. And you're not settling for less. You know, you're in this energy of it's, it's either a commitment or it's nothing. I'd rather be alone if that's the case. I can, be, I can be alone. I can be happy on my own. You know, I don't need a partnership. I'm not with you because I need you. I'm with you because I want you. And if you don't come towards me correctly and if you don't make me an offer for a commitment or at least to work towards a commitment, then I'm not going to budge. I'm not going to budge. I'm just going to keep it moving. This person is showing up as the Six of Wands, so they're in this kind of cocky energy with the Six of Wands, you know, kind of on their high horse. Five of Swords in reverse. So this person does plan on returning back to you. With the moon, I do feel like this is someone who's been kind of quiet and detached, distant. Yeah, if they haven't been fighting for you, they haven't been fighting for this relationship with you. But I do feel like this person has been kind of testing you with the Five of Swords in reverse. This person has been testing you to see if you'll return back to them, to see if you'll reach out to them. And they've been trying to get your attention in various ways. I don't know how. Hmm. All right, let me clarify this energy. Tell me about the Six of Wands spirit. Why is this person's current feelings for Sagittarius, the Six of Wands? Six of Pentacles in reverse. 
Uh oh, that's not good. So this person knows that they are um, one-sided here with you. That's weird. What's the Five of Swords in reverse? Three of Pentacles. Oh, okay. What's the Moon? The Five... What is this? Page of Swords in reverse. You're not going to like this, Sagittarius. You're not going to like it at all. Because I feel like this, this person is planning on coming towards you to try to fix things with you, repair things with you. We have the Three of Pentacles here. They have been watching you for a while, Page of Swords. They've been watching you. They've been keeping tabs on you. Um, this is someone who does recognize that they um, created a one-sided relationship with you. I feel like this person wants to try to cooperate with you and wants to try to get on the same page with you. Um, for some reason, I feel like you're not going to like this because it does feel like a little bit of a breadcrumb, breadcrumbing energy. I feel like this person's really coming towards you to breadcrumb you. But let's see what their intentions are. Let's look into that. Spirit angels and guys, what are this person's true intentions here with Sagittarius? What are this person's true intentions with Sagittarius? What are this person's true intentions with Sagittarius? The Knight of Swords. So they do want to communicate here. I don't like that energy, though. Knight of Swords can, can be someone who's, like, trying to blame you for something. Trying to make you feel guilty, you know? What are this person's true intentions with Sagittarius currently? The Hierophant. Wow. Tell me more. The Ace of Swords. Lots of communication coming through. Tell me about this communication spirit. What does this person want to or intend to communicate with Sagittarius? What is this communication about? Seven of Cups. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Eight of Swords. Oh, okay. Hmm. They're going to try to make you feel guilty for pressuring them into having a commitment with you. They feel like they need more time and they feel like you're being unfair, um, not giving them that time that they need. They're going to make you feel like you're not taking them into consideration or like you're not taking their feelings into consideration. Um, yes, you might be someone who knows what you want and you might be very sure about being ready to start a commitment here with this person but this person feels like they feel like they're not ready the way you're ready and they feel like you're being unfair or like you're judging them or you're criticizing them or like you're pressuring them. Hmm. They feel like you're going too fast or like you want too much from them and, and or you want things too fast. Hmm. I don't know about this Sagittarius. I feel like this person is definitely going to try to like um, guilt trip you, I think is the word. They're going to try to guilt trip you. It's almost like they're gonna try to like switch things around or like twist things around to make it look like you're being unfair with them.
to make it look like you're the one who's um, ruining things in this relationship. You're the one who's sabotaging this relationship, you know? I feel like that's their intention here of, of what they want to do. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. Tell me more about the Eight of Swords. I feel like this person is going to flip things around here. You know, to make themselves look like the good guy or the good girl here. It's a Knight of Swords. Page of Cups. I told you they're going to breadcrumb you. What did I say? Yeah, this person's definitely going to breadcrumb you with the Page of Cups. Um, they are going to try to kind of um, seduce you or woo you or um, make you feel good in some type of way. Um, they are going to try to like make you feel like you can trust them in some kind of way, you know? Hmm. But I do feel like there is deception here. I do feel like there is some there is some manipulation here basically happening. Let's see how you're going to react, Sagittarius. How is Sagittarius going to react to this person's um, intention spirit? How is Sagittarius going to react or respond to this person's intentions? The moon. Hmm. You're going to feel like something is off. Like you're going to feel like this person's not telling you the whole truth. How is Sagittarius going to respond and react to this person's intentions? The hangman. Okay. You're definitely um, connecting to your intuition here. Your, your intuition is going to be telling you that something is not right. Something is off. Something is not um, what it seems. Nine of Swords. Yeah, this person's definitely going to make you feel conflicted here. Because you're not going to know exactly what this person is trying to do. But you know that there's some sort... There's something that feels off. There's something that feels... Like it's not, it's not 100% honest, you know, because they are showing up as the page of cups. So I feel like they're giving you, you know, little bits of, little bits and pieces of information that is honest, but then there's other information that's not honest. Like it's mixed, you know, and it's going to make it hard for you to like distinguish, but your intuition is going to be telling you that there's something that's not right here, you know. All right, let's see what actions will they take moving forward. Spirit angels and guys, what actions will this person take towards Sagittarius moving forward? What actions will this person take towards Sagittarius moving forward? All right, we do have the justice card in regards to actions they'll take. So they are going to try to make things right with you with the justice card. They are going to try to like balance things out with you. Tell me more, what actions will this person take towards Sagittarius moving forward? We do have the Tower card. Okay, so there's going to be something unexpected here. Tell me more. Uh-oh, Five of Swords is here. Not good. You see, this person is playing games here. They're playing head games, mind games. Um, they're manipulating here the situation, twisting things around. I feel like what's going to be unexpected is that things are not going to go their way. That's what's going to be unexpected. It's going to be unexpected for this person, not for you. Things are not going to go as they planned, okay? They're going to try to make things right with you, but it's not going to work. Sorry about that noise. Let's see. I think you have it all you have everything under control, Sagittarius, you know. 
you know exactly what you're doing, you know exactly what this person is doing, and I feel like you're, you're standing strong here. You're standing really strong in, in what you know is true, in what you know you deserve, and you're not going to budge. And I feel like this person is going to be very surprised by how strong you, you are and how committed you are to your truth and to, to what you want for yourself. Okay, so Sagittarius, that's what I see here happening. I hope this reading helped you in some way. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry about all that noise outside, but I hope this resonated. If it did, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.